Hi, I wanted to talk about um, flywheel spinning and the Woodruff key braking on motorcycle engines. Um, this is a 2006 Yamaha Blaster that I bought used, very used, and I've torn it to pieces and um, rebuilt it. And one of the things that I noticed when I was taking it all apart <laughs> was that the, um, the Woodruff key was fractured inside of it and had been waiting to get this little tiny part as one of the last things to go back on it before I start writing it. And um, I wanted to talk about the reasons that um, the Woodruff key would, would break inside of, um, inside of the, the engine. So <clears throat> the primary reason for a flywheel slipping around um, the crankshaft is um, improper torque or maybe someone greased this before this one actually had grease in it before it went on here. And a lot of people have the misconception that um, the Woodruff key actually holds the flywheel from spinning on the shaft. And I won't deny that it does to a degree, but definitely not under heavy engine load will this little tiny um, Woodruff key, wherever it is in the bag there, there it is, um, hold the whole load of that engine, which is probably somewhere around three to 400 horsepower. No, just kidding. But <laughs> <laughs> about 16 horsepower <laughs> so because this one's in stock trim I kept it that way my son's going to drive it so when he gets a little faster we'll soup it up a little bit um, so anyway I wanted to talk about how to repair the uh, flywheel and the crankshaft end if your flywheel is slipping on your motorcycle or blaster or four-wheel or anything it's probably been installed improperly or not properly torqued so if it has and your key has um, has stripped out and I've had uh, people tell me that they've stripped Woodruff keys several times and just keep changing them in their bike then there is a simple cure for it and um, it's this it's valve grinding compound um, I picked this up at the local advanced auto parts and it's used for grinding valves on cars and I used to use this when I was a little kid with my dad in the garage redoing val so valves on cylinder heads on cars and um, essentially what you want to do I've already done it on this one, is you want to rub some on the shaft and rub some in the hole and you're going to take the flywheel and put it on top and press it in quite firmly with your hand and at the same time turn it back and forth and make a grinding motion and you'll do that quite a few times. You'll take it off, it's magnetic so it's a little sticky, you'll take it off, you'll clean out all of the, uh, the, the compound that you've put on in there and you'll clean off the shaft and you'll put some more on. And you'll do that probably about, oh, 10 or 12 times until you start to see, I'll hold the flashlight up here, see some shine develop? See these like shiny spots? Those were the, the high spots. Those are cut down nicely. And you can feel it, the fly, flywheel fits more positively. Also, while, while you're grinding, um, you'll feel at first a lot of friction and then it'll very, very quickly dissipate. You'll have a lot less friction, and that means the, the compound's breaking down, but it's actually doing its job at the same time. So now you're melding these two V-groove surfaces together, and that is actually what holds the flywheel on the crank with the nut. And if it's like having two fingers, if you can imagine two fingers tight together, or one of them sort of V'd apart, there's not as much surface area to grab, so you have to make sure they're melded together and that's what gives it its grab on the flywheel. This little tiny key will not hold the weight of your engine. Wherever it went there, there it is. It won't hold, it won't hold the, the, the torque from your engine, I mean to say. So if you want to stop this problem from happening, it's very simple. Grind it till it's flush and you've got a nice flush fitting V-groove and then clean everything off. I use electrical parts contact cleaner, some Electromotive and then I always pick up at the local hardware store or, or auto parts store and um, put your flywheel back on and use the recommended torque. You don't have to go crazy. In fact, you don't want to because you'll never get that flywheel off or you'll break the end of your crank and won't that be lovely. <laughs> you'll be working on a lot more than the flywheel. So use the recommended torque. It's fine. It should do the, should do the job. Put a brand new Woodruff key in and no more problems with your flywheel. So I hope you, uh, you enjoyed this little lesson, and I hope it works out for you on your motorcycle or your ATV or any small motor. They're all the same. So anyway, enjoy, and uh, over and out from uh, Ronnie MX, and um, 
Uh, take care, everyone. Bye.